this cutter will cut your thread so then that way you don't have to get a pure pair of shears. So I'm gonna put it as close as I can. I'm just gonna go down, okay? Now, so you can see it with the black thread a little bit better. You wanna get close to that edge, but still leave a little bit there. So about um, a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less, okay? So that is one side top stitched. Now I need to do this other side. So since I have black on this side, I'm just gonna flip it over. So that's where I ended at. I'm gonna start over on the other side and I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna top stitch just like I did before. So again, I'm gonna put it underneath where my feed dog is where I can see that little bit of gap. I'm gonna stitch a few. And then I'm gonna back stitch. And then you can stitch all, I'm gonna stitch all the way just like before. And now you don't have pins in it, so you don't have to stop. It's just one continuous motion. Okay, so I'm getting towards the end here. Okay, I'm to the end. So I'm gonna back stitch again. And forward stitch. So again, it's in the fabric. I need to turn the hand wheel toward me. So again, it's located on the right hand side until my needle is up and my take up lever is up. And then I can take it out and cut it. Okay, before I get to the next part of the video, you should be able to see, see where there's a good part here, right up here. You should be able to see that your top stitching is even on both sides, okay? That's what we want, okay? Again, it's one straight fluid motion that you're doing with the sewing machine. So I'm gonna cut off these little straggling threads from both ends because I'm gonna need something clean for the next part, okay? I did not cut any of my fabric, I just cut the, the thread. And that would go in the trash. Our hot water. Oh, sorry. Our hot water. Is broken. I had the cold all the way down, all the way up. Okay, so. Uh, it's all sewn and now we are ready for the keychain part. Um, that will be in part three.